There we go. Okay, here we are at the stunt work for looking at this new bender because Bill Esker in Arizona wanted to know how this new bender works. And uh, I got some examples here now. Uh, this pipe here is typical of a roll bender. That's a roll bender over there. Okay, I moved this off. Yeah, that's the roll bender that I bent this on. That's just a standard roll bender. And this is what you get with a roll bender. You get crumpling on one side and flattening on the other. A lot of people say, well, you fill it with sand and you do it on a roll bender, which is fine. But when you do it with sand, this is filled with sand. As everybody can see, the ends are taped up. You fill it with sand. The sand does not necessarily make the outside of the pipe stretch, but it allows the inside of the pipe to compress, which you end up with ripples because the outside of the pipe is not stretched, it just bends. Then, on the next one, this one was done with the mandrel bender, but the mandrel was too far out on that one. On this one, there's some ripples here still, and the mandrel was still a little too far out. And on this one, the mandrel was in the right position. There's no ripples on the inside, which means that the OD of the pipe stretched. Okay, so now we're going to bend a we're going to bend a pipe, and we'll take this one right here. This is 058. Well, now this is the one that's been bent on a roll bender in the beginning, and we're going to put it on this mandrel into the mandrel bender. So, what is the purpose of the mandrel? The mandrel. The mandrel does two things. The mandrel holds the pipe open from collapsing and compressing on the inside, and it also provides friction, which makes the outside of the pipe stretch and, and does not form ripples on the inside of the bend. I'm going to loop this up, and I have found through just playing with it that um, if I use a combination of WD-40 and 90 weight, it provides just about the right amount of friction. And now we're going to take this pipe and we're going to put it on the mandrel. The mandrel is actually, the mandrel, both of these are mandrels. This is a ball and, this is a ball and cable mandrel. And this is a UHMW mandrel, and all the UHMW mandrel is is a piece of UHMW that has been bored out. The end has been bored out a half an inch down to about here. The bolt has been inserted and then a piece of solid stock has been pounded in to hold the bolt to where you can thread it into the end of your mandrel rod. And what is UHM? UHMW stands for ultra high molecular weight plastic. The, uh, it's important that the end of the mandrel be about a quarter of an inch past your bend line. The center of this is going to be the, the center of your of your roll is going to be your bend line. So right now that mandrel is about a quarter of an inch. The edge of the mandrel there is about a quarter inch past the center line. And it's tapered like that just to give you the edge of where yes. the center would be. Yep. So now we'll put this tool onto the onto the onto the mandrel. Or maybe not. That went on really hard. Shouldn't go on that hard. Then we're going to come down here and we're going to look at our mandrel tube, the end of the mandrel tube. And then we'll come up here and put the bend die on. This is the bend die. It's a five inch in diameter uh, round with a, a concave cutout that's one inch. Now if we had a a bend line that we wanted to bend, we'd line the bend line up with with, with that mark right there. Because that is that the, will be the center that of is the center of the die. Yeah when the when the, the bend mark you'd want that there. Now we're putting the clamp die in. Then we're going to use the presser die or the, the following die. Put the following die in. And then we're going to 
And the following die is the same thing as the, as the presser die. It's just a, a long piece of aluminum that's been uh, cut out with a one inch ball end mill. Is that, that the exact diameter of the tube? It's about, it's about two thousandths or three thousandths big. Over. Mm -hmm. And that allows it to slip. I mean, no, for it, the tube to be this clear. actually follows, otherwise it'd stick, you'd get it on here and it'd stick and right. you wouldn't be able to move it or anything. Right. And then I'm going to pull this down and tighten that nut up. And I like to just snug it like that to make sure that this is square so it's not going to go one way or the other. Then we're going to take our bend pipe or our bend tube and stick it in here. And we're going to bend this piece of pipe. And you'll see that as you start bending, the clamp holds, the, holds it down. And as the die, this die moves, it's pulling this die along behind it while the mandrel is standing still. And there's about a 90. Now we're going to come down here and pull the mandrel out. The design of this is, is made to allow me to turn this and use leverage to get the mandrel out of the pipe. Now the mandrel's out of the pipe. And if I knew where I'd put my half inch wrench, I would undo that clamp. Took it with me. I'm going to undo this clamp. I'm going to undo this clamp. Push that back, take that out. This is loose now, so we're going to take that out. Then we're going to break this free. Then we're going to pull the die off. We're going to get a good shot of the bottom of this die so you can see what it looks like. See, that's, that's the bottom of the die. That's all it is. That line on top lines up perfectly with the diameter and the, and the center line. That's, that's all any line would be a clamp line, but that particular one also lines up with this. So where these two pieces join is dead center. And that's your, that's your line right there. What kind of material is the die made out of? That's just A36, uh, mild steel. And there's the bend. No flattening. No kinking. No kinking, no ripples. None whatsoever. So if you want to bend 6061, one inch diameter 058 wall, this is the way to do it. Not the only way, but it's the way I do it. Nicely done. So anyway, thanks to my buds, um, Scott and Tim Johnson, who are here filming and asking questions, and uh, we'll see you later. <laughs>